back. And thanks to Paneet over at ExcelChamps.com for poking me and asking when is the next video. And thanks to Ernie Johnson for saying that he really likes these gotchas. Because there's a lot in Excel's getting transformed that is not intuitive. So when we have to whoop crap data and end this world of misery, we have to know about our tool. Or else we get in trouble. There are three gotchas that I need to whoop on you today. They all involve merging columns. And those three are one. The order that you select the columns in before you merge, that does matter. Two, the source columns will disappear on you. Three, getting rid of excess delimiters is tricky. Now let's get into this. Let's say that I've got this data clean up to this point. And now I would like this data in flooring square feet bedrooms and bathrooms slid over so that it all is next to the apartment column and i don't need to keep these headers i just want the data slid over fill in the gaps where these nulls are here we are at this point bedrooms is highlighted i'm going to hold down control i'm going to hit flooring square foot bathrooms transform merge columns what do I want as my separator I want a comma let's call it detail okay we've got problems first yes you notice that the source columns are gone if we needed those columns we've got to do something else we can duplicate columns the other problem that we've got is out of order notice that bedrooms is first and then the flooring let's go back to the source look at that because bedrooms was highlighted and then i clicked flooring square feet and then bathrooms that's what happened when it merged that can be handy or that can be a problem but you need to be aware of this let's go back now Merge them again. Hold down the shift key. So everything is highlighted. Merge columns. Separator, comma. Detail. Okay. Now, look at these delimiters. I've got this comma out front two commas here, three commas here. I'm going to show you a trick how to deal with this. Let's delete this step. Highlight flooring. Hold down the shift key. Highlight bathrooms. Now I'm going to replace values. Move this out of the way. Value to find. Null. Now I'm going to replace it with something that would not be in the data set ever. I'm going to add a caret symbol. Okay. The next move is to merge these columns. They're already highlighted. Merge columns. Separator, comma. Call this detail. Okay. Now to get rid of these caret symbols and these commas. Highlight the column, replace values. Value to find, caret, comma. Replace with nothing, okay. Replace values, value to find, comma, caret. Replace with nothing. Okay. Replace values. Value to find. Carrot. Replace with nothing. Now we have the data looking how we want it to look. Apartment C1 has a carpet, 900 square feet, two bedroom, one bathroom. F9, we have no data about. F2, we only know that it's a studio. 
and B6, all we know is that it's a two bedroom. Now let me show you in native Excel how we could have handled this. Go to sheet one, slide over a bit, and I'm gonna do a text join. Let's close this query pane. equals text join delimiter comma space put that in double quotes comma ignore empty cells true comma this range enter Very easy to do in native Excel, complicated in Power Query. There you have it. Three more warnings about Git and Transform, also known as Power Query. Be careful when you merge in columns.